I've had so many chances to film this video today. Well, not this particular video, because I didn't know what I was going to film. And now the lighting has gone bad. Oh. It's just one thing after another. Oh. Hey you guys, it's Bruno26 here. Now, it's been a while since I've done a more upbeat video, so today I thought I'd speak about things within YouTube this past week or so. Now to jot down this video, I was writing down ideas in a book, which is the Pointless Book, as most of you guys will probably have heard of, or know, or own, and I used one of the pages just to write down some ideas on what I was going to do in today's video. Now because I used the Pointless Book to do this, I thought I'd start by talking about a YouTuber called Alfie Days who invented this book, who created it all himself, he designed it himself, and then he got people to help, to help him form the book, and it's just a brilliant idea, it's an idea of, instead of people being able to vlog the things they do in their life, they can kind of vlog it and put it down in this book, which you can then store your memories, and it's a great thing to have. Now the second thing I wanted to talk about is basically a big congratulations. Now obviously I don't know Alfie personally, I know most of you guys won't know him personally, but if you hadn't noticed and you hadn't seen his videos recently, not only did he turn 21, which is a brilliant age to turn, it is the form of adulthood after turning 18, obviously 21 just confirms it. He can now do stupid things like going drinking in America, or... I don't know where I was going with that. He can just do cool things because he's an adult now, let's just say that. Now, not only did he turn 21 in this past week, also he hit a massive milestone on YouTube. I think he's been doing videos for something like four years or five years, but recently he hit three million subscribers. So just for Alfie, that is a massive congratulations. And on the subject of 3 million subscribers, there is also a massive congratulations to another great British YouTuber. His name is Marcus Butler, who I'm assuming has done videos for about the same amount of time as Alfie. But he also hit 3 million subscribers, I think it was like yesterday or the day before. So that is pretty freaking awesome. 3 million people watch that guy. Like, I get excited because this week I have a celebratory of my own. A celebratory of my own? Is that even English? I don't think it is, but we'll edit that bit out, probably. Um, I have a celebration of my own, it is which sounds absolutely pathetic when you think about Alfie and Marcus hitting 3 million, and I think Fun for Louis either has or is about to hit 1 million, and I'm here celebrating 400, which is freaking awesome, because I thought by now I'd have like 100 or 200, I didn't realise how quick the YouTuber subscription base can grow on YouTube, and it's all thanks to you guys and your beautiful faces. Mm -mwah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for that. Now, besides my 400 and Marcus's 3 million and Alfie's 3 million, there is another guy who put up a video this week concerning a question about whether or not he was going to be having a baby or his partner was going to be having the baby uh, anytime in the near future. And this person is Jim Chapman who is in a relationship with Tanya Burr and he had a question, is there a Janya baby being planned? Now, most you boo- you poopers? That's a new one. Now, most YouTubers would find this a little bit of an awkward question, but not Jim. He went straight out with it. He said, he, obviously, he helps to create the baby Aww. and then Tanya is like a baby oven for nine months. She cooks up the recipe and makes it into a baby. But they don't have plans yet, which is kind of sucky. Because I think their baby, if they had a little baby boy, he would like grow up to be king. If they had like Tanya's bubbly personality and her makeup ideas and her makeup range, along with Jim's fashion sense and you know both of their good looks, I think that baby would grow up to be king. And the reason I thought it would grow up to be king is a kind of segue into my next conversation, which is my celebratory 400 subs. I tried getting a Twitter reply from any YouTuber I could get hold of. I'd send a question or two to like Alfie and Marcus and Casper and Joe and blah, 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 blah. blah. And eventually, last night in fact, I got a reply from Sam King, which is kind of where I got the segue of king from. 
Like, well, my question originally was, what five words could you give to a new upcoming YouTuber like myself? And it's kind of scary what he answered. I'm just going to get the uh, tweet up here. Now, I said, what five words could you give someone who wants to be a YouTuber like yourself? Uh, I wasn't expecting a reply. I realised he was on Twitter at this time, so he was recently tweeting, but I didn't expect him to reply to me. But he replied with swag. Bitch, YOLO, mother, trucker. Which is interesting because I did read that last word the first time as. That's just who I am, leave me alone, guys, don't judge me. Uh, I asked if I could use them in today's video and he didn't reply to that. But he did reply straight after saying, I'm kidding, um. Consistency yourself fun, enjoy, and subscribe. And those words are pretty awesome, because if you are consistently yourself, which would be the main thing, not consistent with videos, or consistent with doing this and doing that, but if you are consistently yourself, it gives people more of an idea about yourself, and your YouTube, and it makes people trust you a lot more. If you act more of yourself and not of somebody else, then they think, like, this guy or this girl is genuine, I can trust them, and in YouTube terms, I'll subscribe, I'll be happy to watch them, I want to see them on their journey, and two of those words link in together. Also, when making videos, you do have to have fun. If I sat here now and I was like, hi guys, I don't want to make this video, but I feel like I should because I like YouTube, then you guys aren't going to want to watch, and like that person, I'll be, sub I'll be subscribed? I'd be surprised if they got more than five subscribers, like, in their whole life, because that would just defeat the point of the thing. I've done this because I enjoy doing it, I enjoy sitting here with you guys, I've got a tweet from Sam King, which is awesome, I've had favourites from Casper, and a lot from Jim, uh, and it's just really awesome, I've really enjoyed YouTube so far. Uh, which goes in with fun, and then the next word was enjoy, which is currently the explanation I've just given you, it's awesome, and subscribe. Which is what I would like you guys to do to me if you do enjoy my videos. Uh, go and look through my old videos. It just said Mikey Box has gone live whilst I'm filming this. So if he's on now, when this is up, because I'm posting it straight away, then go and watch him. But he might not be, so check anyway. Go on you now and search Mikey Box. You might find him on there. Uh, but yeah, subscribe is a word that Sam used. I'm guessing he would like me to subscribe to him, which I already am, which is why I asked him the question because I think he is a brilliant YouTuber, um, and also subscribe, I'd love you guys to subscribe to me, if you like my videos, go check my previous videos, and keep an eye out for recent video, keep an eye out for videos that I'll be posting in the future, um, I love all you guys, thank you for subscribing, and I'm actually going to leave you with this on the video, firstly, if you would like, subscribe, and leave me nice comments, either comments about this video, or comments in general about my channel, and I would like to leave you with this. It's a picture I stumbled across recently on Twitter. And it just had me very confused and glad that this isn't the case anymore. But here's the picture. And I'll see your guys' lovely faces again next time. Take care. I love you. And I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.